disgusting. <laughs> Get out of here! I'm tearing up and I see you. Welcome, everyone. Sammy and Colby are just thrilled that you have decided to join them on this special, special day. And I'm pleased to be standing here in this place in front of these two because I know them both to be people who love God very dearly. But Colby and Sammy are remarkably kind and graceful. They're really exceptional that way. And so it is my pleasure to see them want to join into God's purpose in marriage today. Colby, our day is finally here. The day we have been waiting for for so long. My heart is so full thinking about spending the rest of my life with you. I couldn't have dreamt of a more perfect person to spend the rest of my life with. You have shown me what true love is. You have helped me grow in my faith. You have helped me become more confident in myself. Most importantly, you have shown me what unconditional love is. The love and loyalty that you have for your loved ones each and every day reminds me of how lucky I am I get to be one of those people. I thank God every day that he brought the most selfless, loving, and caring man into my life. I'm forever grateful that I get the honor of calling you my husband. Samantha Rose Nichols, when I first saw you as I walked into the office, you were sitting at your desk in the back corner. I immediately lost my breath, didn't know what I was doing, and just thought she is the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. You know the rest of the story. <laughs> our marriage and go together as husband and wife. I cannot wait to see you as a husband and a loving father to our future children. There are so many characteristics that I admire about you. Your love for me and others, total unselfishness, the ability to always make me smile and laugh. Your silly jokes, always asking where is my phone, <laughs> <laughs> and so many more things that always put a smile on my face and say to myself, wow, I love this girl. You make me think this every second of every day. Wow, I love this girl. And looking at you today, I'm thinking, wow, I love my wife. <laughs> I can say about Sammy it is that she is the most loyal person I've ever met. We've been through it all and she would have my back no matter what. So um, Colby quickly became someone that she was just like into at work to all of a sudden they were talking about getting married. 
and I've gotten the front row seat to their entire love story and I'm just, it has been so cool. Colby, I think that also it's very obvious Sammy loves you because she's been working on her cooking skills. Oh. <laughs> There's a video that Mason and Colby, when they were younger, probably five and seven, I'd say, they're in the yard, in the driveway, playing one-on-one. -on -one. Colby's getting smacked. I mean, he's he hasn't scored a basket. Mason scored a lot of baskets. Mason's rubbing it in. Colby's getting a little angry. Mom and Dad said, all right, next basket wins. Colby made his first basket. <laughs> Colby won the game, he started jumping around, he was the happiest little five-year-old you've ever seen. So tonight, Mace wants a rematch. Two men, shirts versus skins, right in the back corner. I hate to say it, but whatever you see with Colby tonight, that's what it'll look like in three to four years. First basket wins. Sophomore year, Colby was coming into the office to work occasionally, very occasionally. But he'd come in, looking like a true college kid, sweatpants, shorts, you name it. Colby was single, and Jack and I kept talking, and there was a cute gal that was working on the other side of the office, encouraged Colby to go over there. Multiple, multiple weeks, he would not go over there. Then Colby started dressing a little nicer, finally got the courage to walk across the office, and here we are today. These guys are both awesome. They're gonna have a great marriage. They're two really good people, and I know they'll have a lot of fun together. So let's toast to Colby and Sammy. Yeah.